Welcome, this is DCD and I am in Calcutta. Calcutta has always been known for its biryani, the Bengali cuisine, the street food, but I'm here for some unusual stuff. The entire world is moving towards healthier green teas and jasmine teas. The guys at Chumuke Chumak have managed to add a rosagolla, which is like a proper dessert or a sweet dish, into their tea. It sounds wacky, but I'm gonna go quickly check it out. And this is how it works. A matka or a small clay pot with a pre-made rasagulla appears magically from nowhere. Then some of that freshly brewing tea is added to it and it's ready. My first rasagulla dipped in chai. Here we go. It is super sweet. I'm gonna take a sip of the tea now. That is... Very, very interesting. I love how the tea is not too sweet, but this Roshagula is extremely sweet. The balance in the tea, fantastic. If I have to rate this, I think it's gonna get a six on 10. Anyway, on to the next place. Yeah, if you're in Calcutta, you better get used to the honking. Boom! I'm at the four-year-old taste ride. They have this thing called the Dab Biryani where they pick up a tender coconut and bloody stuff it with biryani. Sounds a bit crazy, but let's go into the kitchen and find out how it's made. First, the tender coconut is cut open and is yielded. Next, you can see a pre-made piece of mutton, boiled egg and potato boiling away in some mutton broth to which some coconut flesh is added, followed by the biryani rice. It's topped off with some ghee and biryani masala, and under a steel lid, it simmers to perfection. While that's happening, the coconut shell is prepared with some of its own flesh and water. Then the biryani rice is stuffed into the coconut. Best way it's been stuffed in all its life. It's garnished with even more coconut flesh, then covered in steam for a bit and finally ready to eat. Oh my god, this is probably like the best looking biryani that I've had in my life. Dab mutton biryani with the tender coconut flesh. Mm. Oh wow! Mm. My god, this is good. The meat is nice and succulent and like most Calcutta biryanis, low on spice and it just smells so bloody good. I wasn't too sure about how the coconut would blend into this biryani but man, it actually feels like flesh and blends right bloody into the biryani. The aloo, I would say, is a bit of a miss. It can be cooked a little more but this gets a strong eight and a half. And off we go to our next place. At my next destination, I've got some nothing. <laughs> Hungry Calcutta is about a year old. They do a lot of Indian Chinese food. But what they're really known for happens to be a twist on the momos served in an earthen pot. Let the preparations begin. First of all, some frozen chicken momos are deep fried. Then they are dipped in the secret sauce made with mayo and other not-so-natural ingredients. In a shiny clay pot, the saucy momos are added and off they go into the oven for round one. They add a small amount of mozzarella and top it off with oregano, chili flakes and peri-peri spice mix. Round two again in the oven and it's done. Oh wow, just look at that stretching out. The cheese pull. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I love the stuffing in the momo. And the momo has a nice crispy texture. And all the peri peri, the chili flakes, definitely gives it a nice spicy flavor. Man, that's a lot of cheese. Mm. You can't go wrong with cheese, can you? This sauce is more like a pizza base, but very creamy. At the same time, it feels a bit spicy as well. It's nice, but I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. This is definitely a fun twist on the momo. I'm gonna rate this a good 
Aaron Dan. Unfortunately, this seems like Calcutta's favorite habit. Almost 50% of them smoke and it definitely doesn't feel nice to be walking around the streets of Kolkata because everybody is smoking. Boom! I'm at the popular Arun tea stall very close to Park Street in Calcutta. The lights are off because today they're not just popular amongst the humans but there are these insects also which are completely crowding the place. They have a huge Looks like a cricket team with entire jerseys serving people in their cars, etc. What this place is actually famous for is their cappuccino tea. And if you're wondering that they add coffee to tea, absolutely not. The guy who runs this place, his brother is here and he froths the tea by hand to give her a cappuccino kind of foamy consistency. And ah, oh, look at that. Amazing! I've been joined by my friend Banka. He loves his tea, right? Yes, yes, I love it. Such a liar. Guys. He was just telling me that he doesn't drink tea, but he's here for the cappuccino tea. Looks fancy. Dude, this it doesn't look like tea at all. It's got this like nice caser on top. Looks fab. But anyway, cheers, Banka. Yes. Let's see how this tastes. It tastes like regular tea yeah. with, 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 the, with keser on yes. it. But you know what? It's such a very well balanced tea. It's not too sweet. And uh, Banka did warn me that in front of the camera he's a bit shy and he doesn't talk too much. <laughs> but um, but yeah, nice tea and what I like about it, your usual cooler tea uh, tends to be very thick, right? Yeah. It's not that. Correct. Yes. Correct. Wow, he's adding value now. <laughs> it's actually light. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is very true. You know, at 60 rupees, this <laughs> cappuccino gimmick, it is a gimmick, right? Yeah. Like at the end of the day, it's just like frothy tea. How much would you rate this? On my scale, I would rate it 7 of 10. On my scale too, <laughs> I'm going to rate it a 7 on 10. I mean, Tirati Bazaar is also referred to as the Chinatown over here. People set up shop at 5.30 in the morning and serve some authentic Chinese food. Saw a few people drinking some soupy stuff, so went and got myself a fish ball soup. The broth was... Oh my god. That is probably one of the best broths I've had in a very, very long time. But then the fish ball had bones and scales in it. Yuck. Then I met this Chinese man. Will you say that it's 80% Chinese? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? 80% Chinese, but not 100%. No. Because 100% the, the people cannot eat. Indian people, because they need some Hindu Chinese. So we need masala in our food and this is not authentic Chinese. And the market is extremely busy, but you can see that it really is not clean and it was actually kind of filthy. So I decided to quickly run out of there. I went to Kolkata to attend my friend's Bengali wedding and it was quite the spectacle. Congrats, you two. I'm at the Palwan Singh Daba. It's 97 bloody years old and they operate 24 7. They sell their chai really well. Dada, come here for a second. It's India's national drink. It's stronger than vodka, healthier than rum, and it's cheaper than scotch. But I'm not here for the tea. I'm here because they take some coke, they take some milk, and mix it together. And this is a combination I've never heard of. Apart from at McDonald's where they mix ice cream and coke, I'm going to quickly run upstairs to figure out what it tastes like. <laughs> I just found this review on Zomato which says must try Dood Cola after getting high. And that's why I brought my friend Niranjan to come and hi. <laughs> Let's see if it works. But for it to work, you first need to take some hot milk and tons of sugar. <laughs> and start pulling. What he's doing is what is called as pulling. Now do the same after adding some ice. And finally with the coke. I love that sound. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> Whoa, crazy. And it's good to go. Are we doing this together? Yeah, of course. We always, I always do things together. Cool, man. Guys or girls, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely milky, a bit fizzy, and then like the sweetness of the cola and the little bit of sugar that he added uh -huh. pops. Yeah. It's also giving a very desi Calcutta sweet dish flavor. Uh -huh. Like your like dupeda yeah, yeah, yeah. being high, Mix. does it have an impact on this? I don't know, man. You don't know? Yeah. Because you're good. not high right now. Yeah, no, you're it's just good, high. I think, regardless, this mix 
this mix of cola and, and milk, milk works yeah, yeah, in general. Like, How much do you rate this? Out of like what? Four on five. Out guess. of Four out of ten. I always rate out of ten. Clearly, he doesn't watch any of my videos. I have great <laughs> friends. <laughs> I don't get to the rating. You part. don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I see you so tasting we, it. Yeah, yeah, this is not working. <laughs> this is not helping. <laughs> out of ten. Give it an eight. You'd give it an eight. Yeah. Okay, I think he's being very lenient over here. I would probably give it a seven on ten. You're also not that far. <laughs> yeah, seven eight is. <laughs> The unusual Calcutta food has been quite unusual in my opinion. I've loved being in Calcutta. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.